Ender 3 V2 printer. Got one sitting right here. Got a couple of them running behind me. So I just got done running a batch of uh, parts on this and I popped them off the bed and I hit go to uh, do the same thing all over again. And I got that familiar click because the hot end was too close to the bed. I thought, how can this be? You know, this, this stays level. I rarely ever have to relevel the bed or tramming is a proper work term. So I checked it and yes, it was too close. So I went through and re-trammed the bed, got everything going again, did the preheat, got going. Now it, the, he, the nozzle's too far away from the bed. How can that be? I'm going to explain what's going on here coming up and it's an easy fix. I'm Roger, welcome to the Loft Above the Shop, and real quick short video here on if you're having this problem, or maybe you've leveled your bed and you hit home and it comes back and it's home and now the level is wrong. It's either too far away or too close, so you re-tram the bed, you take it back home, and it's off again. How can that be? Well, it's a little $2 part, and I've got a replacement one right here. It's the z-axis limit and these fail they get there's a little hinge in here and I've had this happen before and this gets weak and then when this doesn't always stay where it's supposed to and if it moves by just uh, you know a couple tenths of a millimeter or even a tenth of a millimeter it's going to throw your nozzle clearance off so I'll show you how to replace this it's, it's very very simple Okay, your z-axis limit is mounted to this little bracket right here. So the easiest way to change this is to remove these two screws or loosen them up so that the uh, T-nuts will flip out of the extrusion. Before you do that though, I suggest you take a pencil, make a little mark so you can get it back in the same place or at least relatively close to it because when you're done you're still going to have to retram the bed. So it's just a matter of loosening these two screws up. It's three M&Ms if you're using a ball driver. Now a little bracket will come off. You can unplug this carefully. To change this there are two small Phillips headed screws you need to take out so you can put the new limit switch in. And this one here is got some serious wobble going on. So I know it's bad. This is an inexpensive part, they're only a couple bucks. You could buy, I think I, my last time I bought 10 of them on Amazon for $9. So yeah, they're, they're pretty cheap, or five of them or something. Yeah, I guess it was five for $10, it was pretty cheap. So to replace this, just small Phillips. Take those two screws out. Set your replacement in place. Put screws back in. Okay, once you have this mounted back, plug your cable back in. Only goes in one way, and there's a little key on there to show you how it goes in. Place it back on the rail. Get your T-nuts lined up. Line it back up with that pencil mark you made. Tighten them up. So, of course, now you're going to need to re-level the bed. I'm going to take this home first. Disable the steppers. Okay, then as a check, take it home again. This is after you've leveled your bed or trammed it. After it's home, go back to disable the steppers again and recheck your bed level. And it should be right where you left it. I'll take this home one more time. I'm going to triple check this one before I put it back in service. Make sure it home's the same place every time now. Disable the stepper again. Everything feels good. 
I'm back in business. Yeah, one more thing I'm going to do since I've got this printer over here on the table is I'm going to add a uh, upper z-axis rod support right here because the z-axis rod has a, just a wee bit of wobble. So it's a, the wobble later factor there. So what I have is a bracket that is 3D printed and then a little bearing here and a little hardware goes together. This goes on over like, th like so. The back part mounts to this 2040 extrusion. I'll get that lined up perfectly straight and I'll put a couple of screws in this down through the bracket here and that will hold my rod in place so I don't have that wobblation going on. So here it is right here installed and that takes all the wobble out of this as it gets if you're printing something tall you could possibly get some shift. This takes care of that. It's not too tough to align either. Take a digital caliper, do some measuring between your rod and the extrusion here both ways. You can get it centered pretty easy. So I got that one back in business working properly. So see sometimes it's the little things in life that can cause a headache and this is an inexpensive item too but as I showed you here the this wobbles a whole lot it's just flat wore out inside or came apart or something so every time it would home it would not home in exactly the same place and that was giving me all kinds of grief on that printer and I knew what to look for because I had done this on one of my other ones here quite a while back I just didn't do a video on it I thought I'd do a video on this showing how to change this and if you are having that symptom of you've trimmed your bed and you home it and now it's off so you re-tram it and then you home it and now it's off and it's it's in a different place every time this is what to look for that and make sure your z lemma bracket is on the extrusion tight because if that's flopping around then that's going to be inaccurate too you want to make sure your hardware is tight but this is a common problem so Something to look for if you're having that issue. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. I'm Roger in the loft above the shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.